come with me to build a full-scale maggot factory without any previous building experience. Let's go. Our friend from Finland, who is experienced in building containers for farming maggots, came to help us out. First, we insulated the containers with sandwich panels, drilled the holes for the ventilation, cut all the bits and pieces to match. As the container walls are so thick, we had to buy a plasma cutter, and I tried plasma cutting first time in my life. As always, nothing goes according to plan, and we had to redo a lot of things. Rookie mistakes, I guess. Insulation done needed to fill the connections with silicone and start with ventilation and wiring. Next thing we had to drill holes to the roof. To get the smelly air larvae produces out of the building it was challenging as the roof was super thick and as the building is old, there were a lot of nasty and old materials used for insulation. After eight hours, we managed to get the holes in the roof and install the ventilation pipes. My hands were the dirtiest they have ever been. After long days, things are getting there. A lot to do, but a lot has been achieved as well. Hit like, follow, and comment down below what you'd like to see more from the process of building a maggot factory.